Hi, Aunt M here from Aunt M's Quilts and M's Scrap Bag, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a scalloped Dresden. Remember that if you like these videos, to like and subscribe so that we can help others to find our videos. Thanks so much. Let's get started. First off, um, you can get this fast to cut Dresden template to do all kinds of different uh, Dresdens. It has the uh, um, dotted line so that you can do the scalloped in many different ways. I'll put the link for that into the um, description so you can find that. I also have a couple patterns that have the scalloped Dresden in them and the template is in those patterns. So I have my Naughty Garden that you can see here and I have my Hello Sunshine. All right, let's get started making these Dresden plates. Okay, first off, I like to draw my template on the paper and then I just cut them out of the fabric. Sometimes I will layer like three, maybe four together. I don't like to do much more than that because it kind of can distort things as you're cutting them out. And then I just cut out my blade. Okay, and so after I've cut that out, I'm going to make a facing for it and I do that in my patterns I have the template for the facing but if you're just using the fast to cut I just go down so see how it, when it starts to go straight on either side then I just I'm just gonna fold this template I just fold it about a quarter inch and I use that much for my facing okay can you see that so that's my facing okay and then I'm gonna put the facing right sides together with my blade I kind of like to fold it both of them find the middle there Okay, and then I take it to my machine and I'm going to stitch it. And I'm just going to stitch a quarter of an inch all the way around. It looks like this. And then, okay, and then I'm just going to turn it right side out. Okay, and I'm going to use my little turny tool here. I'll stick it in there. And just make that smooth. And I'm going to take it to the ironing board and I'm going to press it. Okay. Okay, once you get all your blades made, you're just going to start sticking them together. You're just going to put them right sides together. So you're going to want to make sure you stitch all the way up here. So you might want to stick a pin in like this. And then we're just going to stitch all the way up to the pin and just pull out the pin as you get to it. Just so you make sure you get to that stitching. I've just pulled it back on either side. So as I get to the pin, I'm just going to pull it out. I like to press mine open and I sew them into sets of three. So I'm going to add one more on here and I'm just going to sew it the way I did the others. And when I get sets of three, I'm going to put those right sides together and sew it like we did before up to where the stitching is. And then I'll sew those two together and that will give me a complete round. So once you've got a complete round, you just get your background and you're just going to center it on your background. You can fold. Right now I'm just going to find your center. Right now I'm just eyeballing. And then I just, you can glue it. I just use the Elmer's glue glue stick, the purple one, and I just glue it in place. So pin or glue, whatever your preference is, and then I just top stitch around. If you want to grab it and do a needle turn kind of thing, except it's already turned for you, you can applique it that way. And then you can put the circle in the center and I just top stitch that down also. I glue it in place and top stitch that down. You can pin or glue. 
Um, and that's how I do my scallop dresses. I will make sure to put a link for how I do my perfect circle applique on my blog, the tutorial in the description, and you can watch for a, a video tutorial of that coming up. I just haven't got to it yet. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.